Hey Physique Freaks, how's it going? Scott Tuzana, MetabolicMasterpiece.com Blasting our back and our biceps today by incorporating a bunch of unilateral movements. Now, this is something that we haven't done in a very long time and we decided to do it mainly to incorporate some variety in our training and enhance our mind-muscle connection. So here I am doing some one-arm pull-ups with a using a neutral grip on the assisted chin-up machine. Uh, to my surprise, I was able to do a body weight pull-up with one arm. Uh, pretty proud of myself. I actually have never tried it before and uh, I saw it Greg O'Gallagher um, from Kinobody. Um, he was doing some the other day. I was pretty impressed. I'm like, you know what? I'm going to start trying to, I'm going to use that as a goal myself to do some one arm pull ups and chin ups. So that kind of inspired this whole training session. Earlier in the week, we were doing some strength focused workouts, so mainly compound movements in the four to six rep range. And then later on in the week, we're doing more hypertrophy focused workouts that incorporate these unilateral movements. We're getting all functional and shit at the second half of the week here. This program, this workout is from phase nine of the aesthetic muscle plan and this is day number four. So right now doing some dumbbell rows and normally I'd be doing these on a bench or if I was doing in this position I'd have my hand on my knees just trying to stabilize myself as much as possible. But uh, doing it this way with my arm out to the side and not using a bench really is engaging my obliques and transverse abdominals big time and they are already um, they were feeling a little bit tender or a little bit sore whatever word you want to use from yesterday's chest workout uh, chest shoulders and triceps that incorporate these unilateral movements so it was a sure sign that even though I didn't work my abs or obliques or transverse abdominals yesterday um, I could feel the soreness in them today just from doing these unilateral movements. Now I'm going to move on to a straight arm pull down using the one handle. I like to stick my ass back in order to get a full stretch in this movement, fully stretch out the lats. But I, I see a mistake that people make with this in the extended position is that they relax and they tend to, I think it puts your shoulder in a very compromised position. So I allow my arm to raise up, get the lats in a fully stretched position, but I am keeping tension on my lats the entire time. So on the way up, I am really focused on maintaining tension in my lats. So don't relax on the way up. Don't let gravity do the work. I want to really feel the tension. So squeeze the lats in the bottom, and then hold that contraction as you're feeling the stretch and don't overstretch at the top. And play around with this. Like I really find that a lot of it is in your head and a lot of it is where you create the force with your hands. If I push down a bit more, I tend to feel it a little bit more in the lower aspect of the lats and really thrusting my hips forward, getting a maximum contraction. That's one of the beauties of using the single handle. You can thrust back further than if you had the barbell across where it would rub up against your hips. So we repeated that two more times for a total of three sets with two minutes rest between sets. Now we're moving on to our biceps. Doing a one arm cable bicep curl with the setting in the very bottom position. I'm trying to keep my arm tucked in at the side. I'm trying to use little, very little um, shoulder anterior delt in this movement. Really trying to contract the bicep right out of the bottom position here. And again, because all the resistance is on the one side, my core is engaged. Heading over to the other side, and my arm's definitely there. You got a little bit of a pump from the back workout, especially using the neutral grip for the chin ups. Your biceps are a little more involved. Really, uh, I mean, here's the beauty of it. Doing these bicep exercises, really noticing with one arm at a time, these unilateral movements, noticing that my left side is definitely a little bit weaker or it fatigues sooner. I get a bit more of a pump right out of the gate with my biceps and it fatigues um, quicker with the left arm. One little note if you go back to the uh, the pull-ups there, one of the, my main focus is driving that elbow down. I'm just trying not to use my biceps during that movement. Really focus on driving that elbow down to my side. 
So here we are, one arm hammer curls. Biceps are definitely fatiguing at this point already. Got a good pump going on. Love seeing the details, shoulders, triceps, biceps. Bit of vascularity going on there. And again, with the one arm at a time, it's just a different feel, trying to balance yourself here and keeping your body nice and steady. That's the main thing, really checking myself out in the mirror, making sure my hips, my shoulders, everything is in alignment. I'm not kind of leaning to one side. I'm trying to keep myself stable. You'll see here, I, I am fatiguing. I am burning out on this arm much quicker. My range of motion shortens up right away. And look at how I'm getting my anterior delts involved. I'm getting my shoulders involved in the movement. So I had to, this was the second set, third set, I, uh, I reduced the weight to make sure my form was much better than that. that. That's just terrible. I should not be using supporting muscles to help lift that weight up. So a little bit sloppy on that movement. Now we're using a TRX for some bicep curls here. And really focusing on the contraction at the top. It's easiest at the top, especially the more upright you are with this. If you want to make it harder, you get your body a little more parallel to the ground. but biceps are fatigued so I'm staying a little bit more upright and it's easier at the top but I just hold and squeeze that contraction like in the looks of those peaks there long head of the bicep nice peak and really seeing the brachialis bulging out of the side of my arm lots of good detail going on there just a great workout give it a shot let me know how it goes